Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. It's Friday. It's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. And this is the going small edition of Friday's Finds. You'll see I'm out camping. I'm glamping in Trudy Thunder. We're actually at McKinney Falls State Park. So we're gonna check out a few products this morning. Check out a few products this morning. And then I'm gonna go see the stuff. Make sure you subscribe. You're gonna wanna subscribe so you can see this beautiful Texas State Park. The going small edition. I don't know why I'm calling it that. I just, I'm, because I'm calling it that because I have too, too many products. The first one, I don't remember the company and my little little slip of paper is gone and I don't have internet access. So I'll put the company name right here in editing. Thank you for sending us the, the mini key light. Let's take a look at it. It's not, not a huge unboxing video. This is really cool. Yappy's gonna want this one too. I don't know what she does with all these lights, but she got a bunch of them. She's got a clip. I guess we gotta, we gotta put a charge on it maybe. We have an instruction manual. So let me let me put some charge on it and we'll explore we'll we'll check it out after dark. Can't do anything with that right now. We'll move on to mini item number two. And we'll revisit this when it's dark. Saker wanted to get on the Friday's fine show. They sent us a mini electric chainsaw. This is one tool I've never owned. One type of tool. I've never had a, a mini chainsaw. I can see some advantages to a mini chainsaw. And one of those advantages, if you're using any kind of fire barrel and you're buying firewood from the vending machine, over there, for some reason, they don't put the, the firewood in bags here, but look at this. Look at that. <laughs> That's almost two feet long. It won't fit in my fire barrel. So I gotta make it smaller. Now, I don't know if the Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw is, is up to that, but we're gonna find out. Let's unbox it and see what we have to, to work with. does have a 20 volt rechargeable lithium ion battery. We have a power a charger. It plugs straight into the battery. We got a little bit of a tool kit. We got some oil. Got to have bar oil. Oh, it is, it is little bitty. Be careful not to put your finger anywhere close to that little bad boy. And then we have the instruction manual. I'm sure that that oil has got to go on this chain somehow, somewhere. It does not have an oiling reservoir.
It says right here, important. Save these instructions. Maintain a firm grip. Don't touch the blade while you're operating the tool. Electrical safety, personal safety. <laughs> these, these pages are nothing but safety instructions. It's saying to lubricate the chain before each use. They've provided. The funny thing is, I was just doing some maintenance with the power lube. Now this this is also this is not part of the Friday's Finds, but it'll be on the Friday's Finds shop. So I guess it is part of the Friday's Finds going small edition but because this stuff is awesome i use it on just about everything now this is the crc power lube high performance lubricant with ptfe i don't know what that is but it's slippery do we need to charge the battery We'll put a little, a little oil on that chain. Gotta go small. Since we're working small. Let's see it cut some wood. This is really designed for smaller wood, but I wanted to see, could it actually do it? You can't, you really don't want to be cutting anything longer than your blade. Pretty handy right there. That's definitely going in the RV kit. Doesn't take up much room and they sure beat swinging a hatchet or doing a saw by hand. <laughs> All right. Now we need to go check out a light at night. 
So this little light, it's really impressive. Check this out. So th this is the, the spotlight function. There's a low beam. And then we have the area, the, 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 the small area light. That's actually as good as or better than some of the video equipment that I've purchased. And then we have a dim strobe. And then we're back to spot. So the cam camera doesn't do it justice. A little spot. Uh, I can see roughly 50 feet into the into the trees. Now this this is a heck of a addition to the keychain. Spot, low beam, area, low beam, strobe, spot. And to turn it off, you hold, and it goes off. <laughs> I like that. That's a heck of a deal right there. All right, we'll talk again after sunup. Here lately, I've had a lot of campsites where I, I didn't have my lantern hook, so I could not camp in style. We have solved the dilemma. Check it out. This is the Coleman lantern hook. That's pretty, pretty, pretty handy. There's a little chain. So as long as you have a tree nearby, it might not do you any good in the middle of the desert, but if you have a tree nearby, now you are gonna camp in style because you got your ubiquitous lantern hook. If you have an RV, you most likely have black and gray tanks. I know I do in, in Miss Trudy Thunder. And when we're camping in the state park, sometimes you don't wanna go to the public facilities and sometimes there's no public facilities. You've got to maintain the health of your tanks. That's where unique RV and Marine comes into play. They're in the line of duty. That's what they say. That's, that's what their low slogan is. They have come out with a line of products that are the best for taking care of the tank. So let's start at, if you're gonna clean your, to your RV toilet, you don't want to use bleach because that kills all the organisms. Unique has a product called Scrub It. That's for the RV toilet bowl cleaner. It actually has probiotics and helps you to maintain a healthy black tank. On a, on a regular black tank situation, they have the RV Digest It. This is beneficial bacteria and enzymes that break down breaks down toilet paper and solid waste and it helps neutralize the odor so you don't get that that, that nasty smell and if you've got a lot of use going on you might want the rv digest it r digest it this is the extra strength professional grade treatment this is not professional grade. This is for all everybody else. If you're a professional, that's professional grade. Clean it, this. So in, in our case, pretty much since day, day one of owning our motor home, our black tank probes have been fouled. They were fouled and they've never read very clear. The Clean It, that's a heavy duty product that gets in there and really break, cleans those probes so that your sensor works better. And if restore it, uh, if your black tank sensors are not working, 
you want to restore it. So that cleans it out, removes built up sludge and solid waste. This specifically cleans the sensors. And one of the things that I think is just fantastic is they give you a store it. So sometimes time can be your friend. And if you're gonna have your RV parked in the in storage for any length of time and you wanna make sure your black tank is healthy, store it with the store it. <laughs> Fill up your tank, add some store it. And then you're good to go. As a matter of fact, the last time I had the coach in for service, I noticed that that RV dealer in Houston, that specific one that I, I bought that unit from, uh, they actually carry and use the Restore It line of products. So it's professional. This stuff works. You should check it out. That brings us to the end of the going small edition of Friday's Finds. I think the winner is this little keychain light. That, that thing is bright, but the little chainsaw, that's pretty cool too. I want to give a special shout out of thanks to the vendors who sponsored and made possible the going small edition of Friday's Finds. If this is your first visit to Dude RV and you enjoy this kind of content, I try to do this every Friday. That's why we call it Friday's Finds. Tune in next Friday and see what other unique items that I have stumbled across. And for those of you who have already subscribed and have been following and have been following along, thank you so much. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why, that's why I get to come out here. And for my patrons, you guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?